We can trace our history here back in this land for five generations now. And uh, we've been growing coffee here for three generations, traditionally or, uh, you know, commercially. The uniqueness of Indian coffee um, for me is the shade. Right now, at where we are sitting right now, we are on the Western Ghats, the eighth hottest hotspot of the world in terms of biodiversity. You know, so you will not get a place that is more biodiverse than this. That means a lot. That means that the way we grow our coffee has to be unique, has to be different. If you look at our estates, we are shade-grown coffee. We are coffee that is completely under trees and completely under shade. So we maintain the ecology and the ecology helps in maintaining our economy. So our coffee growing is a very, very family, uh, you know, it's a, it's a family, it's a family venture, if you want to call it, because all of us need to give in all our bits to make sure that this works out. My wife, Sushmita, she runs a homestay uh, on our, in our house and uh, it's, it's a very uh, interesting, interesting method or interesting way of meeting different peoples from different walks of life. She runs a homestay and I feel, I feel tourism is a fantastic opportunity to let people know the, the way that we grow our coffee and let people visit our place. We are making changes, we are listening to our plants uh, and I am definitely listening to what she's saying. I am definitely trying to look at her, talk to her and see what is that, what is that, she, that she needs. And with fantastic companies like Yara, that really, really, really helps us with their infrastructure, with their knowledge, with their experience. When they come and tell me that this is what this plant is lacking or this is what this plant is lacking, uh, it shows me my plant in a different perspective. That helps me as a coffee grower and that helps me in maintaining my estate the way that I'd like to keep my plants healthy, happy and absolutely carefree from other tensions. To put things in a coffee bean, if I may say so, a healthy plant gives you a healthy cup. So that means what you put into your plant or what you give your plant, what you feed your plant, eventually she is going to give you produce that has taken that uh, across and it's a no-brainer to say a healthy plant will give you a healthy cup using products that are good for your plant that are meant for your plant and using them at the right time makes a huge huge difference in the eventual product or eventual cup that you can get from that particular plant i see a huge difference in the way my plant speaks to me the yara uh, the Yara plot and my other plots, I, I see a huge, huge difference in that. Extremely happy with the product. I still think there's a long way to go. And uh, uh, the way the executives have kept in touch with me, they do visit my estates as often as I want them to. They are here, they are talking to me, they are talking to my labor, they are talking to my plants. That gives me a lot of confidence. That gives me a lot of confidence and that gives me a lot of uh, support from their side. Yara, I know, is a company that is very large and uh, they can definitely help me out in areas that I cannot as an individual coffee grower. I look forward to the technological in, in improvements that Yara I'm sure is looking for for coffee. I hope that in the days to come that I can use Yara and uh, you know my plants can use Yara and all of us can strive together to come out with a better and happier plant and product for this wonderful industry that we're in. Yara keeps my plants happy. So last year, again, a Yara executive reached out to me uh, quite a few times regarding the Yara, Yara Championship that the company was initiating. I, I, uh, initially, I was a little apprehensive. I was wondering uh, what this was about. But uh, when given more thought, I thought this is a way that the company could really help a coffee grower. A company that is uh, present, has its presence in 160 countries worldwide. If they spoke about our coffees and if they spoke about, you know, some people growing good coffees in the zone, it will do well for the whole industry. It just doesn't matter whether you win or not. It, uh, it matters that Yara is talking about coffee that's grown from India. It was an in excellent initiative and uh, I think it was done very, very professionally. Very proud that this year our estates won the Yara Championship Award uh, and we won the gold, the gold, gold class in uh, Arabica, the Arabica category. And uh, it, it is a fantastic recognition for the effort that's put in, the amount of uh, the, the rewards that we get from our plants when we are good to them. feel very, very proud and uh, happy to receive this from Yara. Thank you very much. Coffee is the elixir of my life and so is my wife.